a blank page, a blinking cursor, the beginning of endless possibilities. The daunting task of starting a new piece of writing can be intimidating, even for the most seasoned writers. The pressure to create something meaningful and engaging can feel overwhelming, but fear not. The journey of a thousand words begins with a single step, and that step is crafting a captivating introduction. This initial effort can set the tone for the entire piece. Why are introductions so important, you ask? They are the gateway to your writing, the first impression that can make or break your reader's interest. Imagine yourself as a reader, browsing through a sea of articles or essays. Each piece competes for your attention, each one vying for a moment of your time. What compels you to choose one over the other? What makes you stop scrolling and start reading? The answer, more often than not, lies in the first few sentences. These opening lines can intrigue, provoke thought, or evoke emotion. A strong introduction acts as a welcoming invitation, a promise of engaging content to come. It draws the reader in, making them eager to continue. It sets the stage, piques the reader's curiosity, and entices them to embark on a journey with you, the writer, as their guide. This connection is crucial for maintaining their interest. So, how do we craft these magical introductions that captivate and entice? What elements should we include to ensure our readers are hooked from the very beginning? What are the secrets to grabbing the reader's attention from the get-go? Is it a compelling question, a surprising fact, or a vivid description? Let's delve into the art of writing captivating introductions, one section at a time. We'll explore various techniques and strategies that can transform your opening lines into a powerful hook. What are some of the ways you've seen writers capture your attention right from the start? Reflect on those moments and consider how you can apply similar tactics to your own writing. Remember that feeling of anticipation before a grand play? The excitement, the curiosity, the eagerness to see what unfolds next? The lights dim, the curtains rise, and the stage is set for a captivating performance. Every element is meticulously designed to draw you in and keep you engaged. Similarly, the introduction to your essay or article serves as the opening act, setting the stage for the ideas and arguments you're about to present. It's your chance to grab the reader's attention and make them want to read more. A strong introduction for an essay or article should achieve three main goals. Establish the context, present your main argument or thesis statement, and hook the reader's interest. Without these elements, your reader might lose interest before they even get to the main content. Think of it as a roadmap that provides a clear direction for your reader, outlining the journey you're about to embark on together. It sets expectations and gives a preview of what's to come. But how do we strike the right balance between providing context and captivating the reader? It's a delicate act of balancing information with intrigue. How can we make our introductions both informative and engaging? The key lies in understanding your audience and what will resonate with them. Share your experiences with introductions that have captivated you. Think about the ones that made you want to keep reading, the ones that sparked your curiosity. What made them stand out? Was it a compelling story, a surprising fact, or a thought-provoking question? Let's discuss in the comments. Share your thoughts and let's learn from each other how to craft the perfect introduction. Just as a bridge connects two landmasses, the introductions to your body paragraphs serve as bridges between different ideas and arguments within your writing. They provide a smooth transition from one point to the next, ensuring that your writing flows seamlessly and logically. Imagine reading an essay where each paragraph felt disjointed and abrupt. It would be a jarring experience, wouldn't it? That's where body paragraph introductions come in. They act as signposts guiding the reader through the labyrinth of your thoughts and ensuring that they don't get lost along the way. Have you ever noticed how some writers effortlessly transition between paragraphs, while others leave you feeling lost and confused? What techniques do you think they use to achieve this flow? Share your observations in the comments, and let's unravel the secrets of smooth transitions together. The conclusion of your piece is your last chance to leave a lasting impression on your reader. It's the final bow, the grand finale that ties everything together and leaves your audience with a sense of completion and satisfaction. But how do you introduce a conclusion without sounding repetitive or redundant? How can you signal to the reader that you're wrapping up your argument without abruptly ending the conversation? What are some of the most memorable conclusions you've encountered in your reading? What made them stand out to you? Let's discuss in the comments and learn from each other's experiences.
Section 5. The Hook. Grabbing your reader's attention. Imagine you're fishing in a vast ocean of words. Each word, each sentence is like a ripple in the water, waiting to catch the eye of a potential reader. You cast your line, hoping to catch the reader's attention and reel them into your world. It's a delicate balance of skill and patience. But with so many other lines in the water, how do you make yours stand out? The competition is fierce, and the stakes are high. The answer, my friend, lies in the hook. Just like a fisherman uses a shiny lure or a tasty bait, you need something irresistible to draw your reader in. The hook is the opening line or two of your introduction, the bait that entices your reader to take a bite. It's the first impression, the initial spark of curiosity. It could be a provocative question, a startling statistic, a relevant anecdote, or a powerful quote. These elements can create an immediate connection with your reader. The key is to choose a hook that's relevant to your topic, intriguing to your audience, and sets the tone for the rest of your piece. It should resonate with the reader and make them want to know more. What are some of the most effective hooks you've encountered in your reading? Think about the ones that made you stop and pay attention. Share your favorites in the comments below. Let's create a community of engaging storytellers who know how to captivate their audience from the very first line. Section 6. Tone and Voice. Setting the mood. Think of the last time you walked into a room. What was the atmosphere like? Was it formal or casual? Serious or lighthearted? The tone and voice of your writing, much like the atmosphere of a room, set the mood for your reader and influence how they perceive your message. Just as you wouldn't wear a tuxedo to a beach party, you wouldn't use overly formal language in a blog post aimed at a casual audience. The key is to choose a tone and voice that's appropriate for your purpose, audience, and genre. How do you determine the appropriate tone and voice for your writing? How do you ensure that your words resonate with your intended audience? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Section 7. Clarity and Conciseness. Keeping it crisp. In the world of writing, clarity and conciseness are king and queen. Readers appreciate writing that's easy to understand and gets straight to the point. They don't want to wade through long-winded sentences and convoluted paragraphs to decipher your message. Think of your writing as a sculptor chipping away at a block of marble. Your goal is to remove the unnecessary words and phrases, leaving behind a clear and concise masterpiece. What are some tips for writing with clarity and conciseness? How can we ensure that our message is crystal clear to the reader? Share your tips and tricks in the comments below. Section 8. The Art of Transition, Flowing from One Idea to the Next Imagine watching a movie where the scenes jump abruptly from one to the next, without any smooth transitions or logical connections. It would be a jarring and confusing experience, wouldn't it? The same principle applies to writing. Transitions are the glue that holds your ideas together, ensuring that your writing flows smoothly and logically from one point to the next. They help the reader follow your train of thought and prevent them from feeling lost or confused. What are some effective transition words and phrases that we can use in our writing? How can we ensure that our ideas flow seamlessly from one to the next? Share your insights in the comments below. Section 9. Examples in Action Learning from the Masters They say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And when it comes to writing, there's no better way to learn than by studying the masters of the craft. By analyzing the introductions of renowned writers, we can gain valuable insights into the techniques they use to capture the reader's attention, establish the context, and set the stage for their arguments. Which writers, in your opinion, have mastered the art of writing captivating introductions? Share your favorites in the comments, along with examples of their work. Section 10. Practice makes perfect honing your skills. Just like any other skill, writing captivating introductions takes practice. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting introductions that hook your reader and set the stage for a compelling piece of writing. Don't be afraid to experiment with different types of hooks, tones, and styles. What are some ways we can incorporate the practice of writing introductions into our daily routine? Share your suggestions in the comments below. Section 11. Conclusion the journey of a writer. As we've explored the art of writing captivating introductions, we've journeyed through the essential elements of crafting a strong start, from understanding the importance of tone and voice to mastering the art of transitions. Remember, 
A well-crafted introduction is an invitation to the reader, a promise of engaging content to come. Now it's your turn to put these tips and tricks into practice. Embrace the journey of a writer, experiment, and never stop honing your craft. What are your biggest takeaways from this exploration of writing captivating introductions? Share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below.